Hello everybody and welcome to the new channel. Um, today we're going to start out with a, a short maybe how-to video on uh, chicken feeders. I got a buddy that's thinking about getting some some chickens and uh, I told him instead of telling you how to build one I can actually build one because I need another one and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and build one real quick. They don't take much time or much money. This is a 3 inch Street 90. 3 inch Street 90. You get them at Lowe's for about four, I think they're about four bucks. I bought four for this one. Some of mine only use three. I put one here, one here, and one on the other side. This one's going to sit out in the middle, so I'm going to put four. That way four birds at one time can use it. Uh, so what we got, some of these are actually different. Just notice that. They must have been mixed in the bin at Lowe's. Two of them are the same. These don't have the shoulder on them. These ones do have like a shoulder on them, but I think I can still make them work. I'll just push them through the hole. They'll go in. Uh, it's easy enough. So you got about $12, $16 there. And then uh, I bought this tough one, uh, about, nine, about 20 by 19 tote. You can get these anywhere. You can get them at Lowe's, you can get them at Home Depot, Walmart. Kmart, I'm sure everywhere sells them. This one is a little bit bigger. This will hold about 100 pounds of chicken feed. And uh, I think this was like 10 bucks, maybe 12. But no big deal. So, I hope they work. The trick is this needs to be about an inch from the bottom of this. And you stick it in. So take this lid off. I like these ones with the lock and lid. That way the chickens can't get to it. I mean, basically you can just put this here and eyeball it up. I, I usually just do it by eye. What what looks like about an inch off the bottom, and then find center of this hole, and you really can just eyeball it up. So you got it. About an inch off the bottom, roughly. Inch, inch and a half, whatever, it's fine. Come straight off the center, straight off the center of the opening. Get you a mark with the center. And then, easily enough, just somewhat straight line. And then, center it up. You just draw so you can see this. The hole that you're going to cut is going to be for the small end, not the big end. You don't want the big end to push through. You want the small end to push through. The big end is what's going to keep it from pushing in. So you just, it's kind of awkward doing it like this, but I'm doing it like this so you can see it. Is just line that up. Trace out the circle. And then go back and cut it. I'm going to lay all these out real quick so I can do them all at once. Make it a lot easier. Don't have to. Real simple. Another hole for this guy. Doing all, like I said, I'm doing all four sides. I hope that sun ain't too bright in the camera. You can buy these. There's people on YouTube that sell them. The guy's like, oh, I'll buy time you buy the tools and everything to make one. But if you have any tools at the house, you really don't have to buy anything. You can cut this hole out with a knife. I usually use a Dremel tool, but you can easily enough take a razor knife. Or a really sharp pocket knife, which I'm sure everybody has, and cut this out. Um, I like using a Dremel. I like to leave the hole a little bit small. That way it doesn't uh, 
fall out. These ones are gonna be tricky. This is gonna be. I might actually have to take these back. I don't know. I might be all punching. But let's see. So I got four holes. One center, 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 center. This is a fairly deep tub. Like I said with locking handles. I want the locking handles. Oh, uh, I'm gonna. I'll cut the first one out with a pocket knife so you can see that. I mean, this is a Gerber flat arm. Just punch it in and just follow that line. So I mean, you could do this for next to nothing. You don't have to buy a drill, you don't have to buy a hole. This guy on YouTube, he sells them, he uses a hole saw to make them. And to me, that's, I don't need a hole saw to do this. Literally, do it with a pocket knife. And this is a big knife, so it'd be easier if you had a small blade. Your Leatherman, anybody watching this is, probably do it yourself or anyway so you're gonna have the tools to make it or you're trying to make stuff but these are the way to go with chickens if you got chickens you need to make one of these we went from using we were just putting our feed in there and like the little feeders the little feeders are nice but you're gonna kill you're gonna be out there every day feeding them chickens this way, you go out, you dump a 100 pound bag in it, and uh, there you go. I don't know what that took, maybe maybe a minute, probably took about a minute. And that's out. Hopefully the sun ain't ruining this. So you got one hole, take this, that hole should be a little snug. We're gonna push this in there might be a little too small but no just put it push 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 that's in three inches the chicken can get its whole head and neck down in there you look that one's sitting a little higher that one's probably about two inches but that's fine um the other ones i'll cut them a little lower um yeah that's it man. that you do that one time you got if you got maybe six chickens jp get out of there for you knock the camera over, boy come on JP, come here. That's my puppy. He's going around the camera. Um, if you only had maybe half a dozen chickens, you could probably use one or one on each side for two. And then uh, that would be more than enough for them. I got the pen I'm making this for. It has probably about 10 chickens in it. So I'll put one on each side. That way four chickens can eat at once. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, four times. You could, This could be done. Throw a 50 pound bag in there, lock the lid, they'll sit on it obviously, but no water will get in it, they won't knock the lid off to get the feed, and that's it man. Uh, real quick, real quick I'm going to do one, I'll buzz one out with the uh, Dremel tool, uh, I don't know if you can see that bit, that's like the router bit for the Dremel tool, I don't know if that's uh, auto focusing or not, probably not a very good view of it, but yeah I'll zip one out with the the Dremel before I wrap this up and uh, so you seen how quick it was with the using the knife on um, the Dremel was probably five minutes five I don't know the Dremel's definitely faster <laughs> I just, I say, there's the hole I'm just gonna punch it in trace out the hole That's it with the Dremel. I mean, that even took, that was what, 10 seconds? The only thing is you get a bunch of plastic shavings in there. Uh, no big deal. And then just take your same thing. You take your 90, take it over the hole, push her in, and that's it. Uh, 
another thing I've seen is if if you want if you're worried about them like pulling out because they will pull out a little bit, you can take a drywall screw and run it in from the inside of this into the box. That way they don't get pinched on it. Uh, I guess if you had a big hose clamp, if you made the hole a little too big by accident, you'd probably throw a hose clamp on this. That would keep it from moving around and pulling out. Um, you know, if you needed to secure it, now you're getting into spending a couple more bucks on some things that you probably don't need. I'm trying to push one of these big ones in that I got by accident. I'm sure it'll go. Might just have to twist it in there. Yeah. So. Yeah. So even the ones with that funky, uh, funky collar on them. I don't know if you can see that. They were, they were in the wrong thing. I just grabbed them. I was at Lowe's and just grabbed them. I didn't really look. I should have looked because people always mix stuff up at Lowe's. Um, I even watched the guy at Lowe's do it. But once these are in, they're actually a little loose. So you're stretching the hole out, putting that one in. I, I recommend getting the, the Street 90s without the collar. That just keeps it from pushing too far on, that's all. And you'll never, it doesn't matter, you're not doing plumbing with them. So, uh, I'll probably throw a hose clamp on this guy to keep it snug. I happen to have some. Uh, or maybe shoot a drywall screw in there. That'd be easy enough. That way it doesn't pull back out. Uh, yeah, it ripped it a little bit. Or you could even take the Dremel. You could take the Dremel and probably mill that off of there. Yeah, you're gonna make a mess though. I don't know <laughs> if you're doing it inside, you're gonna have PVC everywhere. Yeah, so just get the street 90s without that on there. You'll be a lot better off. And uh, you won't have this PVC all over you like I do. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up now. I'll put two of them in. Like I said, don't buy the one with this. That was my mistake. Probably bad choice for a first video, how to. But um, I'm gonna wrap that up and I'm gonna make another short video with a chicken water bucket. And I'll post that one separate. That way you gotta sit through two, one long video to watch two things. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps you if you have chickens or even ducks. Ducks will learn how to use this also. We have chickens and ducks. and. Uh, Hope it helps you out and uh, saves you some money on feed. Thanks for watching.